Right, I've got this um, old aluminium case. That someone was throwing it out at work, so uh, I decided to save it. Now, uh, as I open it up, you'll notice that I've got like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six batteries of which people threw away, and uh, I've got like a hundred. I think it is a hundred, yep. Yeah. A hundred kilowatt inverter and another hundred kilowatt inverter in there. The uh now um, what I've done is I've hooked up just the one hundred kilowatt inverter. Now this peaks at actually two kilowatt. Now I've got the second one just as a backup at the moment. And uh, I've been charging these batteries it's like uh, via uh, uh, solar cells for back up slightly I have uh, a 2.5 watt solar cell there and a 2.5 solar cell there and they both put out uh, I think it's about uh, 18 volts each to get that uh, 2.5 watts but then apart from that I've got a, uh, a 12 watt solar cell which is charging these batteries now uh, I've got all them uh, hooked up through the uh, charge controller which I'll, uh, I'll show you now I've got my solar charger here. Now, uh, if I was to switch this on, you'll notice that the uh, the green light is saying that uh, we're getting uh, a decent power out. The red light is to say it's charging. Now, uh, that means it's actually charging under uh, room conditions, and just the light that we've got that's in the room. But uh, we've got a nice. 13.12 volts across that. Now, uh, I've been using this to uh, to power my uh, TV and my lighting in my living room. Uh, I've also got a uh, a socket, just a normal uh, car socket, so you can uh, you can run car appliances off it. Now. Uh, Basically, uh, I think it takes about a week for these batteries to uh, like uh, fully charge because uh, I've got six of them, as I said, and they're all uh, 12 volts, uh, 7 amp hours. Now, uh, I'm quite actually surprised that it's charging. Uh, just while it's inside, which is quite a bonus. I'm just going to switch it off now. Now it's still charging, even though I've switched that off. But it's, uh, it's charging without having to uh, light the LED up and the on LED. Now, uh, uh, these batteries here, uh, what I plan on doing is. Uh, hooking up a couple of terminals as uh, I've already led a couple of very strong cables going from the battery in my car and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, hook them up so basically close the top down so wheel it out of the car plug it into my main battery and as I'm driving I do believe I can recover any of the uh, the lost voltage or even upgrade my alternator so uh, I can charge these batteries for well basically free or for possibly a, a mile per gallon less if we were to uh, look at one of the lamps because uh, you get two inside the kit 
of which uh, can uh, light your house or garage or wherever you'd wish to put it. Now, uh, if I was just to place that over there now, and then uh, grab the uh, the plug and plug it directly. into the uh, charge controller so what you'll notice is uh, when I actually switch this on we've got a very bright light source of which we can use to uh, well light the house now uh, uh, I'm thinking that uh, if you do drive a car, it's going to uh, have a definite effect if you can charge your battery. A lot of people try and use HHO to uh, increase the efficiency of your car, but I, I believe that you can charge the batteries and then bring them back in the house. And then uh, so once you have you can be uh, having a free lighting or lighting at a very diminished cost so that's that's one of them going but uh, uh, when you got two of them going or three of them going the uh, it does like uh, make a big difference in the house and like uh, it can light a living room that's great then. And uh, thanks for watching.